Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that's going to be a little bit of a truth bomb, maybe a little bit of a reality check for you. So, I just got back from the store, which I don't do that much anymore, the big box stores. I only do it when absolutely necessary. But I went into the garden section, of course, and I saw that they are asking $7 for one basil plant. Seven dollars for one tiny little tomato plant or one tiny little mint plant. Mint. Uh, and so that almost angered me. It, that's just appalling. Okay. The prices have doubled or quadrupled from just a couple of years ago. So then I went into the food section and I saw that the prices of everything have risen dramatically. So immediately i thought of you guys i thought of what all the people that um all of the viewers and all of the people that are growing stuff but all of the people that can't grow stuff and so i just wanted to make this video and to ask you guys what is your plan what are you going to do when the food prices just keep going up and up and up because that's exactly what they're going to do that's what my heart tells me is happening so let me know in the comments where you're at and what you see happening with the prices of things am i completely out in left field or is the price of everything dramatically rising and uh in particular the food and this is why it's so important my friends because the human being is a marvel of adaptation a master of adapt of adapting to the environment but also adapting the environment to us so we can that that's the superpower of the human being is adaptation so we can adapt to uh higher housing prices we can adapt to higher car prices and all this stuff uh you know we can do without certain there's so many things that we can do without and just make it work yes but we absolutely cannot do without the food that is the one thing that we must have and so what I see when I examine this, it is a little bit uh, terrifying in a way, is that we have, as a society, outsourced the most important aspect of our lives, meaning the food. We have said, okay, you, whoever you are, I don't even know, can produce all the food and you, you can transport it. You, who I don't even know, can transport it to the store and put it on the shelf for me and all of that. And then I will go and buy it. Okay. Think of how fragile that is. I was in the store just looking around thinking, this is so unbelievably fragile. Yet it is the most important thing that every one of us needs. Food. I feel we have gotten way too comfortable with outsourcing the most important element of our life. And so I wanted to come home and immediately make this video to touch base with you guys. And I wanted to say that you need to immediately begin growing something. Okay, there's still plenty of time, so there's no excuse not to be growing something. Don't think, well, because I can't grow all my own stuff that I'm not even going to try. That's not the way to look at it, my friends. Any little thing that you can is going to help take the pressure off of the food supply system and it's going to help to decentralize the food production, which historically that has always been the way it was. For thousands of years, the, the main profession of the human being was growing something or hunting or acquiring food in some way. Yet only in the very recent past the last 50 to 100 years have we gotten so far away from that that now people don't even have any concept of where food comes from they think it comes from the store of course or how to grow the food or how to butcher or raise the food none of that and this is a major problem in my mind and that's why i'm making this video because i want each of you to evaluate right now your food supply and the system that supplies you with it and so for example myself i grow as much of my own food as i can all the potatoes and the squash and the sweet potatoes and the peas and carrots and beets and uh, dried corn and watermelons and dried beans and uh well pretty much all the the veg and everything that i need i grow myself but the things that i can't grow myself because of current uh, living situation limitations are eggs and beef and so I have formed a personal relationship with the farmer that uh, 
provides the beef for me. And I've seen they grow their own hay. They don't spray it with anything. The, I've seen the way that the animals are treated. The person knows me by name. I know them by name. Uh, the eggs that I get are fresh from the farm. I know the farmer by name. I know what they're fed, all of this. This is of utmost importance, my friend. So I urge everyone to begin growing as much of your own food as you possibly can. And I'm making the video now because there's still plenty of time in this season to begin growing those crops that I just uh, spoke about. And again, if you can't be growing that stuff, then form a direct personal relationship with someone that does. Go to the farmer's markets, begin talking to people, and feel from the heart how the, the energy of the person is and whether or not this is the spot for you, this is the relationship for you to nurture. It's so important, my friend. Do, let us no longer outsource it to some unknown entity doing it in some unknown way. Because make no mistake, my friends, my heart is telling me that the food prices are just going to keep going up and up and up. And so this is going to be the new reality. What are you going to do when uh, a steak is 40 or $80? It's almost $40 already. What are you going to do when a loaf of bread is $35? Uh, so we're moving into a world where $5 is the new dollar, essentially. And so we have to get this under control, my friends. So here's what you do. You begin by immediately creating a cushion of food. Watch the video that I made about how to store food in Mylar bags in the five gallon buckets with the oxygen absorbers for 20 plus years. Get you some rice, beans, and lentils, a few five gallon buckets of each, and just put them away. That's just, that's just a nest egg. You put it away, it gives you peace of mind and peace in the heart. And then, Begin growing as much stuff as you possibly can and form the relationship with the people that do grow it. Watch the videos on this channel about how to uh, make your own fertilizers, how to store the, the called preserving the harvest playlist. Watch that and implement these techniques, my friends. And let me know in the comments where you're at and what you see. What, what, what are the prices like? Am I totally... Um, uh, out in left field or is this really happening which I think that it is so okay I'll keep it short I want to see you guys uh, this Saturday at 12 noon Eastern time at on this channel for the live Q&A we have it every Saturday and if you would like to talk much deeper about this exact topic you can go to my other channel Nate Murray uh, I just did a live last Monday where we discuss this in much more depth so thank you my friends get growing something